Let's look at assigning people to effort-based type tasks. I'm going to go back to my View tab, click on my details, and bring up my split screen view. Just adjust this down a little bit. And I'm going to take this testing QA and move it from fixed duration to fixed work. Notice that when I select fixed work, by default, effort driven gets checked off. So when I click OK, you'll notice that fixed work effort driven is checked off here and it's grayed out so I can't change it. So effort driven is fixed work. And what that means is that you're estimating the effort and that's going to fix the work and regardless of what you do to your resource assignments, the work will stay intact and most likely duration will get recalculated. So I don't have any effort here. Now I could type in some effort to begin with or I could simply type in a resource, say David, hit enter and the effort gets calculated. Now the fixed component here is the 80 hours based on whatever goes into that work field initially. I want to make a change to this assignment. For example, if I change David from 100% to 50%, what's going to happen to my work value? Well, nothing because it's going to stay at 80 hours. So what's going to get recalculated is my duration. And in this case, it's going to take longer than expected because I can only spend 50% of my time working on 80 hours worth of work, so that means the duration is going to go to 20 days. If I change this back to 100%, my unit is back to 100%, then it goes back down to 10 days. If I come down here and I assign an additional resource, say Judy, and I click OK, what do you think is going to happen to the work and the duration now? Well, remember, the work is fixed, so it's going to split the work between us and therefore bring the duration down. That's like painting the room. The more painters you have, the less the duration is going to be, but the work will stay the same. So if I actually click OK, notice that the work gets split between us, 40 hours each. The total work stays at 80 hours, and my duration is now five days. And that duration would continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller as I add additional resources. So, so, so for example, if I choose Robert, click OK, notice the duration goes to 3.33 days. We're sharing that work between us. Or if I take away Robert, just by deleting that resource from that assignment, I click OK, the duration gets bigger. And if I take Judy off that, click Delete and click OK, notice that it goes back to 10 days. So effort-based scheduling is really all about fixing the effort. Now you can accomplish the same type of approach by choosing fixed units. And when I choose fixed units, notice that I can turn effort-driven on or off. That means that do you want the effort to be fixed as well as the units and that gives you the ability to have an effort based approach so same type of thing happens if I come down here and I type in another resource and click OK notice my duration gets cut in half but my effort stays fixed so you can accomplish effort based scheduling either with fixed units and effort driven turned on or remember if you choose fixed work and click OK it automatically clicks off effort driven so that's how you can take an effort based approach to scheduling in Microsoft Project